Okay, so we'll continue with our discussion for the continuous probability distribution and we're still on the mean and the variance of the continuous probability distribution. So we'll uh, have this example for dash 8 for the whole diameter. So previously we have the problem in example for uh, 4 dash 2. So balikan natin yung 4 dash 2 na problem. So ito siya. So sabi niya na we bore a hole in a metal sheet with the target diameter is 12.5. And the expression, yung f of x natin will be 20 exponent of negative 20x minus 12.5 for x is greater than 12.5. So we're asked to determine the uh, mean variance and the standard deviation of this expression. So, so here I prepared a word file for the calculation of the mean value and the variance of the uh, function. So we have here your f of x value which uh, indicates that your f of x is 20 e to the negative 20 x minus 12.5 and this is true for x value greater than or equal to 12.5. So getting the expected value of a continuous distribution is just by getting the integration from negative infinity to infinity x times f of x dx. So we know that uh, from negative infinity to 12.5 0 lang yung value nun. So we'll start with 12.5 to infinity and substitute yung f of x. So we'll have x times 20 e to the negative 20 x minus 12.5 dx. So pag may exponential ka at saka linear function, you do integration by Parts. So recall, the integration by parts ng uh, calculus nyo, yung integral calculus is just the integral of u dv equals to the uh, value uv minus integral ng dv. So kailangan lang natin alamin kung pa, ano yung ppdn natin. So pag may exponential, that will be the dv. And pag may linear function or uh, polynomial, that will be your u. Kasi bababa yung exponent. So, we have u, x, so ang b yun niya ay dx and ang db natin is 20 e to the negative 20 x minus 12. So, kailangan natin itong i-integrate. So, by integration, you can utilize yung substitution ng m para maging simpler yung function. So, negative 20 x minus 12.5. So, this will become uh, pag ginamin derivative, so negative 20 dx siya. So dx is equal to dm over negative 20. By substitution, so we know that this one is m. So 20 e to the m dm over negative 20. So simplifying, it becomes negative em dm. So by getting the, uh, the integral, integration of db, so we'll have d. And this is just the integration of negative em dm. So, ito ay negative em lang siya. Yung value, so, your v will be this value negative e, negative raised to negative 20x over 12. So, so substitute lang natin yung value ng uh, u, ng db, ng v, at saka ng uh, du sa expression. So, ang u natin is x, ang db ay ito, yung db natin, ah, sorry, u pala, tsaka v, yung v natin ay ito, ito lang, yung negative e, so ito siya, minus integral ng negative e, uh, v is, v is dx, so dx lang siya, ito yun, ito yung v, and du, ah, so, sorry, v is ito lang pala, negative e to the negative 20, x minus 12.5, dx. And further simplifying, so um, masisimplify lang natin magiging positive. Pa. Then we get the integration ng e to the negative 20x minus 12.5 dm. So yung may integral lang, yung blue. So ginawa ko siyang blue para uh, masabi na ibang integration to. Yung itong portion lang siya. So by letting m ulit, negative 20x minus 12.1, we get dm equals negative 20 dx and solving for dx, dm negative 20. Substituting this value, so magiging siyang e to the m 
BM over negative 20. So, lalabas yung negative 1 over 20, and integral lang siya ng EM DM. So, by integrating this EM DM, this is just E to the M. Kaya, negative 120, 1 over 20, EM siya. So, substituting the value for M, this is negative 20x minus 12.5. So, uh, yung buong uh, integration na to, ay magiging na siyang uh, ito. Substitute, then we evaluate from 12.5 to infinity. So, by evaluating, substituting yung infinity dito sa unang sa lahat, then substituting 12.5. So, magiging negative infinity, e to the uh, negative infinity lang to lahat, minus 1 over 20, e to the, ito ay negative infinity. Then. Minus, ito, so, negative 12.5, e, ito ay magiging 0, kaya 0 lang yung exponent ng e. Minus 1 over 20, na value, e to the 0 din siya. So, further simplifying, this will become 0, minus 1 over 20, times 0, minus uh, 12.5, magiging 1 lang tong e to the 0, minus, ito ay 0 0.05, so, magiging 1 din tong e to the 0. And this will become 12.5 as your mean value. So this is the mean of the uh, continuous probability distribution. Now, for the variance, same lang din siya. Integral ng negative infinity to infinity. However, hindi na x yung multiply, but the difference of x and mu raised to 2 times your fx dx. So, substitute nyo lang yung mu na nakuha natin kanina, which is 12.5. So, substitute here. This is 12.5. So, integral din ng 12.5 to infinity. Kasi from negative infinity to 12.5, zero yung function natin. So, wala siyang integration. Wala siyang area under the curve. Then, substitute. Then, still, this will become integration by parts, which is, this is yung u, at ito yung bb. So, substitute natin u, bb, kukunin ulit. Ito yung du, bb. Then, yung kaninang ginawa dun sa uh, mean value or expected value, then lalabas yung b as negative e, negative 20x minus 12.5. So, by substituting dun sa integration by parts, we will have this one. And, uh, this expression. So, ito yung V, uh, ito yung D, U. Okay? Ito yung U, V, minus. So, negative, negative, maging positive, lalabas lang yung 2. Integration ng X minus 12.5. Uh, 55 E to the negative 20 X minus 12.5 DX. Then, we'll have the second integration by parts. So, ito ulit, integration by parts siya. So, familiar na kayo dyan, di ba? Yung madaming integration by parts. So, ganun ulit, piliin ulit yung linear function, yung may linear function para bumaba yung exponent. So, you have u equals x minus 12.5. D will be dx. Then, pareho ulit yung db kanina. So, as is lang siya ulit. Yung d natin will be negative 1 over 20 e to the negative 20 x minus 12.5. So, familiar na dito ha. Yung kanina lang din to sa uh, mean value. Then, by integration by part, so ito yung pangalawang integration by part, we'll have yung u natin, ito yung v, ito yung negative, ng, uh, ito yung uh, v, and dx will be yung d. So, simplifying, we'll have Ito, hindi na ito magpapurger simplify. When we have 1 over 20, magiging positive lang to Integral ng e to the negative 20, x minus 12.5 dx. Okay, then we get the integration of this expression. Hindi na ito integration by pi. Simple integration lang to or substitution. So, we'll have substituting m as negative 20 x minus 12.5 and get pm to get yung value ng dx o so yung... Uh, function na ito, ma-simplify natin or matatransform natin into EM, DM over negative 120. So, 
uh, by integration. So, familiar na dito sa ganong integration, you'll have negative 1 over 20 e to the negative 20x minus 12.5. Then, we have this value. Substitute natin dito sa blue. So, balik tayo sa blue. Yan na siya. Uh, ito lang, pinalitan. Then, further simplify, magiging negative, that's squared. Tapos, uh, distribute natin. Uh, ilabas lang wala natin yung negative 120. So, paglabas ng negative 120, we'll have this expression. And, gawin natin yung 120, 1 over 20 into decimal. So, para mas simple. So, we have negative 0 0.05 times x minus 12.5 minus 0 .0, 0 0.05 squared times this exp expression. So, nilabas na to yung buong term na to sa dalawang expression. Kaya, yung may iwan this uh, function or linear function. So, labas yung 0 0.05. So, labas yung 0 0.05. So, we'll have negative x plus plus yung negative times positive 12.5 minus 0 0.05. So, magiging 0 0 0.05 negative x minus 12.5 times yung e raised to negative 20 x minus 12.5. So, ito yung second integration by parts. Yung lalagay natin siya ngayon dun sa uh, dito sa sa first natin na may integration by parts na may integral. So, substitute mo siya dun sa expression na yun. Yung buong blue na yan. Ito. So, ito siya. Minus 2 tapos yung buong expression. Okay? Then, further simplifying, algebra na lang to. Uh, nung ginawa, so, multiply muna to. Tapos, si factor out, ah, uh, hindi na pala siya, pinactor out. So, then, diretso na, na evaluate from negative, uh, from 12.5 to infinity. So, by evaluation, we'll have d of x equals point zero zero. So, pag kinuha natin yung variance, so, tuloy lang natin ito. So, yung variance, ah, yung standard deviation, wala. Uh, huh? So, expression, we have to get the uh, sigma is just equal to, tuloy na natin yung uh, Euler. Okay, so this is just equal to the uh, square root square root na dx so from here square root na uh, point zero zero five will just be equal to uh, square root around 0 0.0025 will be 0 0.05. So, this will be 0 0.05 yung ating variance. Okay. So, we have this uh, answer for your uh, problem. So, tingnan natin kung tama. Tuloy-tuloy po siya. So, tama yung variance. So, yung variance at saka yung mean value is 12.55, may 0, 0, 0.25 at saka 0, 0.05 yung standard deviation. Okay? So, let's proceed with the continuous uniform distribution. So, this is the simplest continuous distribution and analogous to its discrete counterpart. So, a continuous random variable x with a probability density function f of x is 1 over b minus a. So, ito yung uh, representation niya sa uh, thing representation niya, yung linear uh, curve. So, area under the curve lang din siya. So, 1 over b minus a. So, ayan yung, yung function kasi line siya from a to b. So, if you get the mean and the variance, so you just utilize this derivation. Kaya nang mag-derive nito. Uh, ano lang naman siya? Uh, simpling, simpling integration. And for the, the 
variance, substitute nyo lang yung uh, value dun sa uh, formula natin. So, ito yung uh, ito yung mean, uh, x minus mu, tapos yung function natin ay 1 over b minus a. So, by integration. Okay, so let's have this example uh, for the uniform current. So, the random variable x has a continuous uniform distribution yung 4.9 to 5.1 which is yung f of x is uh, 5 for this range. So what is the probability that a measurement of the current is uh, between 4.9 and 5.0 ma. So this one is just the integration yung probability ng 4.95 to 5.0. So, integration lang siya ng 4.95 to 5 ng f of x dx. So, simple integration lang siya. 5 magiging uh, so, ang, ang function natin will be integral ng 4.95 to 5 ng 5 dx. So, pag integrate to, this will be 5x evaluated from 4.95 to 5. Okay? So, kaya naging uh, 5 times uh, 5 minus 4.95 siya. And this will be the value of the probability. So, the mean and the variance formula can be applied with A and B as 5.1. So, substitute nyo lang. Ito lang yun yung mean formula natin kanina. Uh, uh, yung median. So, median siya. So, uh, 4.9 plus 5.1 divide by 2. So, ito yung mean. While for the variance, you just apply yung formula na to. Yung B minus A squared over 12. So, this would be B minus A quantity squared over 12 na formula. So, ito lang siya. 0. 0.2 squared over 12. So, the value is 0. 0.003. Erase ko na yung ink. And this is the representation of the area under the curve of that function. Okay? So, for the cumulative distribution, pareho lang din nung sa uh, discrete. But, you just get the integration from A to X nung uh, F of X B, U siya, or X. So, magiging, ito yung function niya, X minus A over B minus A. So, you can utilize this expression for, uh, this one is A to B, where this one is represented by this uh, linear function. So, you have your homework, and uh, I, uh, follow ito, write your solution on bond or yellow paper, scan the page, and ito yung name. So, I think these are seven numbers for the uh, continuous distribution. So, medyo mahaba-haba yung homework number two. So, para makita natin kung naintindihan talaga. So, we'll end here.